We all know that the uh, harvesting a mature buck, the best opportunity would be during the height of the rut. But unless you're out in the field on a pretty regular basis, it's difficult to know exactly what stage the rut is in. So what I like to do is talk to my deer processor, the local deer processor in your area. He's got a pretty good idea of what's going on with the rut at any, at any one day. He's obviously seeing a lot of deer coming in. He's taking a look at the metamorphosis, and he knows exactly where things are at. So last night, I texted him to see where things stood in our area. So this is what he texted back to me. Very early stages, necks are swollen, and guys are seeing them push those a little. Glands are not stinking yet, so in the next few days it should happen. With this type of information, you have a much higher likelihood of maximizing your time in the field to harvest that buck of a lifetime. My name is Ian Monick with Arrow Hunter, and that is your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Cadence and technique really comes into play on the water. So don't box yourself in with just one technique. Pay attention to the fish and how they're biting. So if you're using a lipless crankbait, for instance, you can throw it out and there's a different cadence you could use. If the fish is really on, you can slow roll it, maybe speed up your speed. If the fish are more negative, then you can do what I call yo-yo effect, and that's casting it out and just lifting it and then letting it drop and lifting it and bringing it back as you're reeling. If the fish are truly just not wanting to commit, then you really want to get into that finesse and just lightly lift it and lightly drop it. I mean, painstakingly slow. This is Cheryl Smith, Outdoor Girl with Midwest Outdoors.